I made this uh, control box for the x carve Basically what's in it is all the components from the original one. Uh, I think the only thing I have added is a uh, spindle relay. Uh, and then here in the front uh, I have the uh, X, Y, C uh, limit and uh, spindle and also the probe. It's a little jack. And then I have added an E-stop. And on the back side... Um, show it. Uh, I have a power switch and a USB, that's all what's on the back, except for a big uh, X where the air can uh, go out. And on the top I have built a, another X which is right on top of where the power supply is uh, getting the air. Uh, so that's the idea how to ventilate it. So in another video I showed how to uh, mill the aluminum plates in 3mm uh, aluminum here uh, and do the carving. So in this video I will basically uh, just show the, uh, the, the few steps of how it looks inside and so on. Now I have started the assembly of the uh, the electronic box here, and you can see I have put the uh, extrusions on, and uh, remember to put in uh, some T nuts here, because as soon as I get the back on, I cannot get those on. So eight of T nuts uh, are in place now. After having uh, done the milling of the front and the back plate, I have assembled the box. Uh, I have uh, here the 2060 uh, profiles. I have put a uh, thread inside here so I can use uh, M5 screws to put it on. Um, and then I have made a plastic uh, bottom here. Uh, and the three screws you can see right there, that's for the Arduino. The Arduino is put on some stands here, nylon, and then the original screws, three of those, to fix it. Then I have uh, glued on with double-sided tape a relay here, uh, and same story for the PSU. It's also just uh, mounted with double-sided tape. I have some very strong double-sided tape, uh, VHB from 3M, so a couple of strips of that is uh, enough to fix it. And at the back, you can see the uh, inlet and the USB, and here's where the air is supposed to go in. Um, yeah, so if I turn around here, basically I have the power coming in from the connector, and then going through the switch, um, and um, over to the uh, PSU. And then I also take the power from the PSU 
and feed it to the relay here. So I have a, a, the possibility to get a 220 out of this one, uh, switched on and off by the relay, so I can get my spindle uh, to operate. The uh, 24 volts uh, is coming here, and I put it through the e-stop, so whenever I do an e-stop, it's not the whole power supply I'm taking out, it's just the power to the uh, gravel shield that will be sitting up, uh, up here. And then uh, the USB coming in, and of course you need to plug that in here. And then the uh, next step is to uh, do uh, all the different connectors here, put them in and connect. Uh, the probe is sitting here and it's connected to ground and then A5 on the Arduino. And if you follow the, um, the red wire here, you can see that it's connected here to the first of these uh, analog in. On the gravel sheet I have put a, a row of connectors here. They are upright and they those are used for the uh, X, Y and C limit switch. And then the last one is the uh, for the spindle uh, relay. You see it goes to the spindle here and goes to the uh, the limit switch outlet here and then uh, on the other side here I've actually mounted a angled uh, connector uh, and I mounted it on the underside of the board in order not to obstruct when I'm gonna put all the uh, wires for the steppers in here then anything on top here would be in the way so it's much smarter to put it underneath and use an angled one uh, here yeah, so now I have soldered on all the connectors and connected them and powered up and nothing, no smoke came off, so that's good. Uh, so next step is of course to check that the uh, spindle relay, uh, the probing and the motors are all running as they should. So let's just start to see if it will move as it should. that works. Then we do a homing to see if the limit switches are okay. <coughs> Whoa, yeah that worked. And then last piece must be to test the, uh, the, the spindle, M3, turns it on, and M5 uh, turns it off again, that also works. So next piece is basically I need a uh, lid, and as you can see I've already put a piece of plastic here, um, and I will zero the uh, set on top of it and just position the uh, two millimeter bit at the corner right here and then uh, have a uh, vent cut uh, for the uh, power supply okay we're ready to set the zero and it worked nice and uh, then I will just tell the machine that now we have 4 millimeters uh, to the top. So this is what I want to cut in the uh, top plate. Uh, it's opening for the fan. And if you look over here, you can see that I have positioned the bit 4 millimeter above the material at uh, 0, 0.0. And this is how it looks in reality. Let's start the program.
Yeah, so this is the finished part uh, that I can then put on top of the box. Like this.